In this video, I am sharing five of uncommon or unpopular ways to really simplify your natural hair or your natural hair experience. I hope this video will be helpful to someone out there. Let's get into it. Shameless plug guys, before we continue, I have got some merchandise available for you guys to order and enjoy. For example, this hoodie that I'm wearing right now is cool. It is high quality. It is quite soft to the touch. It's not too warm, but also not too light. So it's perfect for, you know, when it's a bit cool. Right now where I'm at, it's cool, but it's not extremely cold and it's not warm either, okay? Just in the middle. Um, it's very comfortable and it's got this really soft material um, on the inside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this... The inside of it is so soft and gentle um, on your skin, which I really, really love. The best part of it all is that you can have it in different colors, guys. And it says routinely flawless here, which I absolutely love. You guys let me know if you fancy this um, quote and the color as well. But I have reduced the prices for you guys so that everyone has an opportunity to get something that might reflect where they're at in their natural hair journey. So go ahead and support me there. The first thing that you can do to really simplify your hair, enjoy your hair more, and just have a better experience with your natural hair is unpopular and not very explored in the natural hair community and by most of us as black women. And that is to just embrace, rock, appreciate, and style shorter hair. Hear me out. A lot of us are out here for long hair, myself included. We love long hair, right? We love thick long hair. The darker, the better. We, we love it. We love it. There's nothing wrong in wanting longer hair. Um, but if you are someone that is frustrated with your natural hair, you've tried so many things, nothing is working. You're not particularly fast about length, retention, for example, and you don't mind short hair. I think it's okay to embrace it. Sometimes we have a lot of pressure right in the natural hair streets here where it's like length retention, how many inches, length check. And we think that that is the norm and that's what's expected. That's what's ex um, desired or the only way to have natural hair. But I would like to encourage you to explore shorter hair. And when I say shorter hair, it doesn't have to be a teeny weeny afro. It could be like just a proper natural up here, shoulder length hair, even bra strap. Um, Waist length and beyond, that's getting to lengths, okay? Really big lengths, but you know, shoulder length hair, armpit length hair might actually be a great look for you. You know, you get to enjoy wearing your hair loose a bit more. You've got less hair to deal with, less, less length to deal with. You uh, handle your hair within a shorter period of time, you know, shorter detangling sessions, and sometimes it actually shapes your hair or your face better. So shorter hair is something that I think should be discussed more and encouraged actually for women out there. Some of us are really frustrated heading back to relaxers, always wearing wigs or always protective styling our hair because we're trying to get that length and we're trying to do this. But if you're someone who's okay to wear shorter hair and you love it or you're comfortable with it, you're not really fast with long hair, consider shorter hair as a personal style. Heat. I have spoken against heat and I remain on that stance to this day. Heat does have its effects, okay? It's not the best thing that you can do for your hair, particularly long term, okay? You may not see the effects now, but as you go along, you start to see issues there with heat use. However, not everybody is at a stage where they have the time, the effort, or the know-how, okay, with their hair. And it's okay if Having heat on your hair allows you to love your hair more, enjoy your hair, embrace your hair, style your hair, feel more confident in your hair. It's okay to use heat. Obviously, you want to, um, what's the word? Educate yourself. You want to use the right heat. You want, you want to not overuse the heat. You want to use a heat protectant, all those good things. But I think it's okay if you want to incorporate heat into your routine, girl, liberate yourself to do it. I recommend the um, Revier. If you have access to it, you've got the funds for it, go ahead and do it. I know this is not everyone's uh, cup of tea. Like I've, some of us, for example, me, I, um, 
the Riviera is not shipped to Australia, so I can't have it. And of course it's expensive, so I understand if you don't want to invest $400 into a blow dryer. But um, yeah, heat might actually be the missing piece that allows you to enjoy your hair a little bit more, embrace it a little bit more as you get onto this journey of you know, embracing, looking after your natural hair and learning it. Two French braids or two cornrows or two flat twists, anything to going back like that, tucked in at the back. One of the simplest, most straightforward ways of styling your hair that still can look pulled together, right? I'm wearing one of them right now. Put a bit of gel, nice and neat. You're done for the week. I don't know if it can last two weeks, but I find that this is probably one way to really look still pulled together while wearing your natural hair and not having too much stress about the styling, right? Because for example, wash and goes, I haven't done many of them, but the times that I used to do wash and goes, I was stressed, okay? Just wrecking my hair, enduring that shrinkage. When it came down to detangling the hair again, for me, it was a bit much, but this one seems to be a little bit less time consuming this style. I'm not saying you can't do wash and goes, of course, if that's working for you, go for it. But this is another simple way to rock your hair. Why I like this, it's simple. It looks quite neat okay you can even do this even if you have like mini twists or maybe mini braids as well so put a bit of gel just to make the frizz a little bit less if you know what I mean um, and style your hair that way I don't think the style looks childish so I don't know I guess personal preference it's not the most adult style if you know what I mean but it's still not the most childlike style <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense and that's why i think this one can work for a lot of us and you know with some glasses on i think i look pretty okay so that's another area to explore if you look if, if you're finding a bit of challenge with the conventional twist outs braid outs you know loose styles or even heat straightening the next tip here is not wetting your hair while wearing protective styles and this is something that is obviously controversial because the advice has been to wash cleanse your hair clean your scalp while wearing your weaves braids wigs etc girl in my experience it's good for the scalp the hair gets some kind of hydration there but the takedown is tedious okay the length becomes tedious so obviously you don't want to just be length focused you want the health more than the length or at least both at the same time um but one way that i think that you can combat the dryness right and the brittleness that can come from not wetting your protective your long-term protective styles i'm talking one month minimum would be to really butter your hair so use a lot of shea butter um, for example, in your hair, and I mean a lot. That way the hair has got something to draw from all the time while your hair is in a long-term protective style, okay? So instead of adding leave-in conditioners, water, etc., you're keeping your hair dry. That way it's stretched so that when you take it down, the takedown is easier, there's less knots, there's less shrinkage you're dealing with, um, and the shed hairs can be removed a little bit easier as opposed to when you have washed your hair, deep conditioned your hair in a long-term protective style and then attempt to detangle, I have found that to be a bit challenging. So I'm yet to try this technique where I put my hair in a long-term protective style after stretching and buttering the hair. And then of course I'll come and tell you guys how that goes, but I think it makes sense, right? It's almost automatic. It will obviously be simpler because your hair will still be stretched, right? And it'll be well lubricated and buttered um, even at the point of takedown. Last but not the least is to try out a uh, detangling tool that works. <sighs> yes, we love to finger detangle. Yes, we the fingers are the best. They're the gentlest. They preserve your hair for longer, your length better. But it takes longer. Uh, you need a time commitment. It is exhausting. It's not very practical for all of us. So finding a tool that works well for your hair um, to detangle might be helpful. Obviously the unbrush is very popular at the moment. I think it's worth giving it a go. Um, it seems pretty affordable from what I've seen there. It's not too expensive. Obviously it's not the most affordable thing because um, right now it's popular so they're taking advantage of that. But I think it's worth trying. Of course I will come out here and review it for you guys um, as requested. But yeah, just finding a tool that works well for your detangling can help cut down on the frustration, cut down on the time you're spending in your hair and allow you to enjoy 
you'll hear a little bit more and reduce that frustration. Um, the Tango Teaser is one that I would recommend and there's another one that I use that I hold in my hand. Um, that one is also a good one to try. There's a few options on Amazon there that you can try and of course unbrush. So three options there for you to try out. White tooth comb is another one. I have not found white tooth combs to be the best, particularly for textured hair. Um, to effectively detangle, they kind of hurt. They don't do a good job detangling. Yeah. White, tooth, white tooth combs are not, are not my preference. I prefer just my fingers or a brush, you know, one of those things. But yeah, if a white tooth comb works for you, then go ahead and use that. Ladies, I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, it's Coily Diaries. Bye.